Thanks for joining us tonight. We're going to start with Medicaid. In the state of Minnesota, one and a half million people rely on Medicaid benefits. And as more and more people retire, that number is going up and fast. In fact, it already has. In the last three years, it's gone up 25%. And with a pool of people that large, it leaves a lot of room for bad actors. Nationwide, some estimates say the programs lose more than $100 billion a year to fraud. Case in point, in Minnesota right now, a major investigation is ongoing into what the attorney general says is the biggest Medicaid fraud ever prosecuted by his office, and it's not done charging yet. AG Keith Ellison says personal care assistant or PCA companies filed false claims to steal more than $9 million in your taxpayer money. But in the courtroom today, one defendant said this isn't that simple. Here's Lou Goose. Just like the Feeding Our Future case, this PCA fraud investigation is taking place almost entirely within Minneapolis's Somali community. Today, Abi Rashid Saeed testified that these companies under investigation paid him $188,000 in the form of loans based on friendship and trust within their community. Were those checks for employment for you, Mr. Saeed? No. What were they for? Loans. Abi Rashid Saeed was convicted in 2021 of theft by swindle. His personal care assistant or PCA company offered legitimate personal care services, helping people, often elderly or disabled, who need assistance with things like grooming, bathing, eating, or using the bathroom. Payment for the services comes through a Medicaid program administered by the Minnesota Department of Human Services. But Saeed admitted his company tricked DHS into fraudulently paying $77,000 in Medicaid funds through phony payroll documents. He was ordered not to work for companies that receive Medicaid payments. These are Medicaid funds that we are talking about. Now, prosecutors accuse Saeed of receiving dozens of checks since his conviction, totaling $188,000 from other PCA companies that receive Medicaid payments, a direct violation of Saeed's probation. DHS has now stopped all Medicaid payments to those particular companies because the attorney general is investigating them as part of its wide-ranging PCA fraud case. The different companies operate out of the same buildings and are often run by people with family ties. Already, 18 people have been charged in a separate $9.5 million PCA fraud case. Do you have personal relationships with the individuals who gave you these checks, Mr. Saeed? Yes. Saeed's testimony illustrates how, even if fraud is occurring, it might be difficult to determine who is committing it and the reasons for money exchanging hands. This is part of our culture to help people. Within the Minneapolis Somali community, Saeed testified that friends and family members help each other out financially without the paper trail some might expect. Regarding the $188,000 in checks, Saeed said his friends and family members who also run PCA companies gave him loans to get back on his feet after his conviction. Did you have a written payment agreement or terms and conditions of the loan? No, Your Honor. Our culture is we trust one another. The state believes that it's proved by clear and convincing evidence that there uh, is not only a violation, but multiple different violations. Thank you. Kudos to the Attorney General's office for vigorously pursuing that which they believe is Medicaid fraud. Uh, but if this is the extent to which they can show we are in a sore state of affairs. Judge Shireen Escalani will make her ruling within the next few weeks. Meantime, the Attorney General's office in a statement said their investigation into the PCA companies that have not been charged is continuing.